Hey loves, happy Money Mindset Monday. Yeah, we are gonna have a really quick one today uh, because it's not gonna take a lot of time for me to explain this. And it's just an easy way for you to really stay focused, stay disciplined, um, because how many of us are easily distracted, we can get lost in the Facebook scrolling, we can procrastinate, so we can go, oh my gosh, what's for the next step? And um, we can, uh, you know, for me especially, if I don't do this one big thing, hi Monica, if I don't do this one big thing, what happens is my head gets really like noisy in there because there's so many things to do and I'm like not keeping it straight. So this literally, because many of us are visuals, what I would recommend, hi Jen, is to create, I call it an abundance activity list. What is that? It's a to-do list. But how freaking boring does it sound to say to-do list, right? So let's call it an abundance activity list because this is really important for you to um, get into the energy, get into the energy of feeling into fun and flow and really being focused on the activities, the income producing activities that are going to move you forward in your business. This is going to also help you get more clear about what things need to get done and that you need to do and that you can delegate out. Hear me out, because I see this a lot of times. We create a big to-do list, and then we try to do it all on our own. Do you guys, can you guys resonate? When there's certain things, even though you want to, um, I should say, even though you can do it, you have a hard time delegating out because you know, and these are for my, I can personally relate, these are from my people who are a little bit of perfectionist or, or you're thinking, but no one can do it like me, or I can't, I, I, do, I know I would do it better. Okay, so that might be true. And then I wanna ask you, how much energy is it taking you? So for example, mm, let's say you have a newsletter that you need to send out, right? How much energy and time is it taking you to go and take what you wanna put out to your newsletter, you create the pretty copy and everything, like you still need to create the copy, yes, but you don't need to be the one putting together the newsletter, making it all pretty. That can be delegated out to your assistant. If it's something that's really quick, maybe, right? But think about what, how much other things do you, um, have on your abundance activity list that you could be doing that are is going to bring you more forward quicker right so that's something to be really really high lana <laughs> really um tough to do but really necessary so right now you guys um i've been homeschooling my kids uh all morning it is taking a little bit longer than uh, i'm hoping so I've been setting timers and um, you know, sometimes things don't go accordingly in plan. So I think this is why it's important to also have <sighs> delegation because we need to focus on the things that are important. Obviously it's important to me to be um, making sure my kids are, are keeping up with their schoolwork. Holy though, I have a headache you guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um, this is why I'm outside because it's a little bit noisy. But let me show you what my abundance list looks like today. Okay, my abundance activity list. If I can find where it is, the wind blew it. Okay, so I have it in two different places. Number one, I literally every morning or the night before, I will create a checklist. This is what I gotta do today. And um, I actually didn't click anything off because I literally have been homeschooling my kids all morning. Um, I mean, if I put working out in there, then I would click that off. Um, but um, yeah, just like being with my family, that's, that's not, you know, that's important to me. Um, homeschooling and then this afternoon I've got these things to do so it feels good to check things off I'm also really mindful about my time with my kids so I'll be like okay breakfast I'm gonna set a timer for this long and then I thought homeschooling was gonna take like 30 minutes 
not today. So I just keep saying the timers, give them breaks, you know, and then I'll be um, putting this, this is also my Google Calendar where things are color coded and um, and so I can see what my calendar looks like. I don't know about you guys, but if I see space, I'm like, I can procrastinate. I'll be like, oh yeah, I don't have anything to do. No. <laughs> So I'm focused on what is that abundant activity that's next, okay? And how much time am I giving myself to um, go into this abundance activity? So I hope that this is helpful. Um, this really, my two words this year is conscious discipline and focus. And so these two words is what I'm, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to master. Let's put it that way. Not trying, but I'm mastering. Okay. And, uh, it is not easy. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing all right. I know I could do better. So this, these tools are what support me to make sure it's, I'm moving forward. Um, one of my recent clients, one of my clients recently, um, noticed she was like sabotaging herself and not, um, and not just moving forward. And so this was literally what I suggested to her was like, are you writing down your list of things to just be able to check off? Because human nature, we love completing. We love completing things. So if I have a check box, not just bullet points, where I can literally put a check mark or I can cross out something, that actually psychologically feels really satisfactory for us as human beings. Can you guys relate? Yeah. So drop me a, like a heart or a thumbs up if you can relate with that. Like it feels good. It feels like, oh yeah, I feel accomplished when I complete something. I get to check that off. Kids love that too, right? It doesn't stop. It doesn't change. Hi, Amanda. All right, love. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Let me know what are your top three abundance activities to do today. Post it in the comments. Let's keep you accountable.